Swati Krupp and welcome to Thailand News Today. Well, you think with all the things happening in Thailand at the moment, with the business depressed, no tourists, the Thai people would be, well, keen to sort of get the economy running again and pr probably hopeful to see some tourists soon. But that's not what a new survey says. We'll get to that story soon. In the meantime, let's check today's other main stories. Zoos across Thailand will be investigated for possible involvement in the black market wildlife trade. The probe follows a case where two rare albino barking deer went missing at Songkla Zoo and a top zoo official investigating the disappearance was shot and killed at the zoo in an apparent murder-suicide. The Zoological Park Organisation panel plans to look at the current state and numbers of animals at the zoos under their jurisdiction and determine if there are any signs of illegal wildlife trading. A small gathering was held yesterday on the grounds of Bangkok's Tamasat University, Taprachan campus, commemorating the 44th anniversary of the Tamasat University massacre, the violent crackdown on students by right-wing militia and army in the morning of October the 6th, 1976. A 16-year-old girl in Pattaya has been taken into care amid reports her grandmother forced her to sleep with a loan shark and a friend to repay the older woman's gambling debts. The 57-year-old Pattaya woman faces charges of human trafficking and prostitution and a warrant's been issued for her arrest as well as that of the loan shark and the friend, both of whom face human trafficking charges. A number of people in a recent NIDA poll say they lack confidence in the government's ability to reopen the borders as we start to allow tourists back into the country. Many say they lack confidence in the government's ability to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and that the move could cause a second wave of the virus. The NIDA poll conducted a random survey last week on 1,318 people of various ages and backgrounds. They were asked about the new special tourist visa scheme, which allows long-term stays after tourists complete a 14-day quarantine. 50% disagreed with the STV scheme, 40.2% say it could cause a second COVID-19 outbreak, 16.8% say they don't have confidence in the government's coronavirus prevention measures. 42.3% agree with opening the border to foreign tourists, but say preventative measures must be in place. The survey also asked respondents which travellers they saw as the greatest threat. 50.2% say all travellers are an equal threat. 31.1% say those crossing natural passageways are the greatest threat and 10.5% say those arriving by air are the highest threat. The country's first tourists to arrive since April's border closures are not arriving tomorrow as originally expected. Phuket's governor now says they will be arriving after the island's annual vegetarian festival, which runs from October the 17th to the 25th. He hasn't clarified when he requested the delay for foreign tourists to start coming back to Phuket and he hasn't confirmed exactly when the first tourists were expected, except that it will be after October the 25th. Key foreign investors might be able to skip the 14-day quarantine required for travellers entering Thailand. The proposal would allow high-spend investors a free pass on the current mandatory isolation period. The Centre for Economic Situation Administration is discussing the proposal today. One of the ideas floated included having a health officer stay with each investor during their stay and act as a COVID chaperone. And the Thai Meteorological Department is forecasting plenty of rainfall for pretty much all of Thailand in the coming days. The TMD says the northeast, east, south and central region, including Bangkok, well, that's just about everywhere, are in for almost continuous rainfall and some isolated heavy showers. The heavier rain is expected to continue until around October the 9th as a Category 2 tropical depression in the South China Sea moves slowly west. That's all the main stories from around Thailand today. We've also got a new story up on our YouTube channel about the alternative state quarantines, the ASQ facilities. We went to a hotel and spoke to them about, uh, well, some of the things you could expect during your 14 day stay and some of the costs associated. So that's another video that you can watch 
on the Tiger YouTube channel. But for now, from Thailand News Today, thanks for watching.